good, y'all? John D. Saunders here. You know the vibes. In today's video, I am teaching you how to make your own personal AI, personal chatbot using ChatGPT and my GPTs. I'm gonna walk you through in real time creating a GPT for myself that I use for social media, content ideas, and more. So let's dive into my computer. I'm gonna jump on OpenAI's platform, ChatGPT, and we'll do this together. All right, y'all, so I'm gonna show you how to develop a bot. This is essentially a chat bot that you can leverage that has information and data already uploaded to it. So think of it as you're using ChatGPT to ask it questions, but this is definitively toward a specific subject, person, or anything else. So I've got my website here on the right, right side. This is my personal website, just so we have this up so we can walk through it. And on the left side here, I have my bot. I can ask this thing any questions. I can say, who is John D. Saunders? And what it's going to do is pull data from my bot and provide me with information and output. So I'm gonna show you how to make this for your personal brand so you can create social media posts, you can create pitch decks, you can write chapter outlines. I mean, the possibilities are endless. Think of this as an extension of yourself that you can then leverage for your brand. You can do this for clients and more. I could talk about this for days, y'all, but I wanna give you the overview of how you can dynamically do this in real time. So as you can see, it's giving you an overview of who I am. I'm the founder of Four, an agency, some of the clients that we've worked with, what I've achieved, uh, things about my book, right? So it's taking all the information that I've uploaded to a knowledge base on the back end and providing with output. I can even say something like create a social media post on hiring great team members for referencing my book or YouTube videos, right? So it's going to check the knowledge base, right? So as you can see, absolutely, let's craft a social media post that encapsulates the essence of hiring great team members. And then as you can see in the journey of building my agency, the things that I did and how I nurtured team members. So it's pulling all of this information. As you can see in my book, Borderless, I dive deep into the strategies that have allowed us to hire, train and grow a team. And I talk about those specific items. So you can use this for your benefit y'all it works really really well this isn't super specific so let's say can you be specific with tactics i've used and now it's going to go in and give me some details so again really great stuff here y'all you can use this for a plethora of different things that you want to do i'm going to dive into creating one of these so you can get it done so as you can see Unlocking the power of a global team. These are some of the things that we did. Diverse talent acquisition, right? So it's pulling all that information from my mind, my brain, which is insane. Culture first interviewing. I talk about this in my book. Let's see, remote work mastery. I mean, it's all here, y'all, as you can see. So what I've actually done here is I've actually created a standard operating procedure on how you can do this. If you want access to this, just leave a comment in the video and I will give you that. As you can see right here, this is how, this is the process that we're gonna go through right now. So let's go ahead and prep our bot. So one thing is, one caveat, you do need to have a premium chat GPT account, 20 bucks a month. I'm not paid by them, but <laughs> this tool has changed my life. $20 a month is a steal. This thing, I'd pay a thousand if I had to for it, it's that crucial. So first thing you do, you need a premium account. Then you want to go ahead and create your bot. So log into your account, and then you're gonna to go to explore GPTs, and here's where you're going to create your bot. So you're gonna hit explore, and you're going to hit create your bot here. Now, you're going to name your GPT, you're gonna add a description, you're going to add information here, and conversation starters, I'll leave blank, but then the most important piece and component of this is to add, and I'll move my head, is to add information to the knowledge base. You're going to upload content, this can be PDFs, documents, Excel files, PowerPoint, keynotes, anything that's going to benefit the bot, leveraging that content to be give you output, right? So I'm just gonna go to my bot, that way we can use this one as an example, and I'm gonna go to explore GPTs, I'm gonna go to my GPTs, and I'm gonna go to this one here, and I'm gonna hit this pencil icon. Now here, you can see that I've got some info, I'm gonna go ahead and move this over so you can see this a little bit better, y'all. Okay, so as you can see here, I've got my John D bot. There's my big old head. I've got a description for the bot. And then I also in this info, 
I have just instructions. So this is this GTP will be John's digital version. It will take on his mannerisms, voice, cadence, and tone. Here's some info on me. So as you can see, it talks about me as the founder. It talks about my some of my milestones, my businesses. So you want to supply it with as much info as you can. My overall voice, what I'm into, comics, video games, sports, competition, right? And then the last piece here is the knowledge base. So this is going to be crucial. The content that you upload here, you can upload up to 20 documents. I uploaded a PDF version of my book borderless, which you can see right here. This is my book. I literally uploaded a PDF version of this. So it's a ton of data that this can leverage. I uploaded a list of all of our customer testimonials. I uploaded YouTube transcriptions. This is amazing. Y'all I went to my last 10 YouTube videos and I just uploaded the transcriptions from those into this document as a PDF. As you can see here, I took all the website copy from my personal website and uploaded it, which is really easy. You can literally go to your website. You can do command P to go to print. You just save it as a PDF, save it and upload that PDF. And it'll take all the text and, and visual docs from that. As you can see, I go to downloads. I go to here and you can see here as I scroll, this is all text that's highlightable and readable by uh, the platform. Right. And then last thing I did was I'm email templates. I have like 20 email templates that I send to customers and clients. I just uploaded that so we could have more information on my voice. And that's it. Those are the five things that I uploaded. And that gave this bot a plethora of things to work with. So going back to our training here, let me show you all that the bot creation. So once you upload all of those items into the knowledge base, that will give you all the info you need. And then you're able to use that bot however you see fit y'all. So you can go into your bot, ask it questions. You could say, you know, what's the best way to help my followers understand what I do on a daily. Oops, had a error there, but it should be able to pick that up. So to effectively communicate what you do on a daily basis to your followers, follow these. Da, 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 da. So it's going to do all of this based on my specific criteria all the things that I'm into UI, UX, design, development. It takes all of that into consideration to go ahead and build this bot that you can use. Now, just think about the possibilities. You could say, build a sitemap for a personal website that you think would be beneficial for me. Think of some book ideas that you think would be work great, right? I mean, there's so many different ways you can use this bot for social media, for content curation, for ideas. I want y'all to jump in, check it out. If you want the SOP, leave a comment below in the YouTube video. I will drop the link and I will see y'all next week. Thank you all for checking out the video content. Drop a comment if you have questions, like the video and make sure you subscribe. See y'all next week. Peace.